Welcome to Aspen Fasteners Tutorials. In this series of video shorts, we will cover all aspects of industrial fasteners. From the different types of fasteners and their purpose, to all the variations in head styles, drive types and threadings, to materials, coatings and everything in between, because after all, fasteners are fascinating. In this episode, the topic we'll cover is how to measure and call out metric double-ended studs. Let's start by taking a look at a double-ended stud. Typically used in industrial or automotive applications, double-ended studs are defined as threaded fasteners with a thread on each end and with an unthreaded shank in the middle. One end of the stud, typically with the shorter threading, is called the tap end or screw-in end. The other end is called the nut end, and this will be the end of the stud that is used to tighten or clamp down the fixture being assembled. The tap end will typically have a fixed thread length depending on the DIN specification of the stud and the stud's diameter. The nut end thread length is also defined by the DIN specification and will vary based on the nominal diameter of the stud. The three most common DIN specifications for metric double-ended studs are DIN 835, DIN 938, and DIN 939. For DIN 835 studs, the thread length of the tap end is two times the thread diameter. In other words, an M8 stud with an 8mm thread diameter will have a 16mm thread length on the tap end. DIN 938 studs are one times the thread diameter, so an M8 stud will have an 8mm thread length on the tap end, and DIN 939 studs are 1.25 thread diameter, so an M8 stud will have a 10mm thread length on the tap end, also called the screw-in end. In all three specifications, the width of the unthreaded shank is the same as the thread diameter of the stud, and the thread direction on both ends of the studs is the standard right-handed threading which means you are turning right to tighten the stud. As for the nut end of the stud, the thread length is also predefined based on the nominal diameter of the stud, so in reality, the only variable length value will be the unthreaded shank portion of the stud. All of these dimensional details can be found on the aspenfasteners.com product pages and on our spec sheets for these parts. When calling out the stud you are looking for, and this is critically important, you are calling out the length of the stud as the sum of the length of the nut end threading plus the length of the unthreaded shank. Let's dive a little deeper with this example. This is a print of a DIN 938 double-ended stud that is 8 mm in diameter and has an overall length of 48 mm. By virtue of being a DIN 938 stud, the tap end thread length is also 8 mm long, and the nut end thread length is defined to be 22 mm in length. The only variable is the length of the unthreaded shank, and to figure that out, the math is pretty simple. Take the overall stud length of 48 mm and subtract the 8 mm and 22 mm lengths of both threaded ends, and you are left with an unthreaded shank length of 18 mm. Now this is where people get into trouble when calling out this part. The natural inclination would be to call this out as an M8 or 8 mm by 48 mm stud, but that is not how this works for metric double-ended studs. The length call out is the unthreaded shank length plus the nut end thread length so a total of 40 millimeters. In other words, to call out this stud, you would describe this as an M8 by 40 DIN 938 stud. For more information, visit us at www.aspenfasteners.com or call us toll free at 1-800-479-0056. And if ever you find yourself with a fastener emergency, like a down production line, reach out to us via text message 24-7 at 1-818. 584-8869, and we will do our very best to help you solve your fastening emergency. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and get notified every time we release a new tutorial video. Goodbye for now and see you soon.